see if you can tap into some of the movement in your own body when you're sitting still. Whether that feels like energy moving, blood pumping, atoms vibrating, molecules. Slight little creaks and groans of your joints. Hang out here for a moment and just appreciate that even in the deepest stillness, there's still some movement the deeper you look. And if you can find some level of movement, see if you can just hang out at that pace and move with it. Don't try to speed it up or slow it down or do anything with it. See if you can attune to the rhythm of that movement. Maybe it's your heartbeat. Maybe it's fidgetiness, whatever it is. Just appreciate it for what it is. Get to know that movement a little bit more. And appreciate the consistency of it. By some measure, in some way, it's always there. To exist is to be in motion. Even to vibrate at the somatopic level. And it's funny, our relationship with pace in life. Seems like the things that we want aren't happening fast enough.
or when we're in it, it's not going slow enough. It's going too fast. Children always want to seem to grow up as quick as they can. Teenagers. Adults wanting things to slow down. How long does it take to fall into the rhythm of nature, of existence, of your life, of how things unfold? Is there a moment that you're attuned, a day? A week, a year, a few years? Does it come and go? Does it take a lifetime? You get closer to it the older you get. Or further. See if you can tap into the inertia, that other force, fighting to still that which moves. Perhaps not fighting, but working with. to yoke, as yoga calls it. To channel, to discipline. Appreciate how powerful that inertia is. The deeper you settle into it, the harder it can be to get out of it. That calm, still sense of comfort. the weight of your body, the weight of your emotions, the weight of your thoughts. Some of these forces of inertia are more tangible and quantifiable than the others. all trying to slow you down.
maybe not necessarily inherently good or bad. But pulling on each other, pushing on each other, trying to find the balance. Just moving and being still enough. The space between those two forces coming together. Cosmic forces, existential forces. Existing in the space in between. Sliding past one another. The energy is deeper than any matter, than any particle. the most fundamental building blocks of existence, constantly playing off each other. Take a moment to hold both of them, not in between them, but Simultaneously, the movement and the stillness feel that push and pull, their relationship to each other. And just take a minute to go back and forth and take sides, be on the side of inertia, on the side of movement, and see how much it takes for one to overcome the other, to come out of inertia into movement, to still movement into inertia. These are the forces that you carry within you that are carried by you and that carry you. And to wrap up, Just imagine your movement in stillness aligning with some other movement in stillness in the world, in the universe, at whatever scale you want. Just imagine yourself tuning and aligning with that same rhythm. Just enjoy being there for a minute.
on your way out. Pick one of those sides to move or to be still.